from the Smithfield wetland area, very close to the Namanu Reserve, and this has been created as a, as a wetland uh, as part of the ecological mitigation uh, on the project. So this area ultimately will be integrated into the Namanu wetlands and the Namanu reserve area which it lies adjacent to. The bridges here will have uh, fernbird tunnels placed in them so that there will be passage for certain ground dwelling birds to, to travel between the two areas. I think it's going to enhance our landscape locally and enhance that corridor that we have currently that comes from Kapiti Island up the Waikanae Awa to the Tararuas. The wetlands that were there originally prior to urban spread has been a focus and they're going to re-establish some good waterways so that's going to look good in the future. The bird life will increase. The birds that are in the Namanu Reserve at the moment will come over this way. We expect the fern bird to come back into this area. The streams will fill with the native fish and eels. Restoring the native flora is a big part of this project and a massive push over winter has seen thousands planted out. Carrie Park have been delivering probably 10,000 plants a day. Most of this plant stock has come from seed which was locally collected so we've actually kept the genetic material that's local to the area. In a few years the land here will be dense with native flora and alive with native fauna. We're hoping that within two years it would be quite difficult to walk through here and then in, in five years it will be quite dense planting. Most of this planting is at uh, one metre centres. Eventually the, the canopy cover will be quite dense. We made a commitment at the beginning of the job to employ local labour uh, and put them through some, some training, some horticultural training. So we've developed a relationship with Tiatiawa and the local marae in Waikanae, and that relationship's been excellent. They were really excited about the opportunity and we brought them together a few times and they sort of have gelled really well as a team. Another ecological mitigation site is the Waimiha stream, where fish numbers are closely monitored. This is one of the sites here that is a mitigation site and those mitigation sites we do a post-construction monitoring on and that involves stream ecological evaluation which takes into account um, the stream channel, its physical features, its diversity in habitat, the fish present, the bugs present and the macrophyte growth which is all this lovely green plants growing in the stream basically encompasses all the features of a healthy stream and we have to hit a certain number, it's an indice. So all the mitigation sites will go through that process. Tessa has been impressed by its bounce back after a partial redirection. So we've got an amazing amount of species from the Waimeha stream in this diverted section. We've got 12 species of fish, and that's including black flounder, which is a freshwater species of flounder. That, um, we've got a few of those in here. We've got some big eels, huge giant bullies and other things like that. Really interesting species that we don't often see. So as an ecologist, this, this little section of stream was quite fun for me. Residents of Kapiti can look forward to enjoying the wetlands as they develop over the next few years. The planting work that we're doing will leave the area far better than it was before, with a lot more diverse species generally along the Kapiti coast.